Get me off to death, Drifter. What do they call you? What's your crest? Speak! Name's Geralt. No crest, no motto, no plumed helmet even. I'm a witcher. Mind telling me why you're here? For the head of Grotori, the monster from yon cave. I swore on my honor I would bring it to my betrothed, mount it on a pike. Made any progress? I've... Um... <clears throat> been gathering my strength. I shall attack soon. I gave my word, and my word is my honor. Wouldn't happen to need any help, would you? I... I don't know. After all, I did swear a solemn oath to... Deposit the beast's head at your beloved's feet. No mention of you killing it all by yourself, though. All in all, uh, I suppose you're right. <sighs> we must fight side by side, then. For honor! should be the one to lop off its head. We gotta kill it first. Hmm, strange. No sign of Kratori. Perhaps we should turn back? If there's no beast, there's no beast. Damn shame, but we tried. Not so fast. Let's take a look around.
By my troth, the damned brute was sturdy. I, I'm grateful, Witcher. You ate at me greatly. Please, you must accept this trifle as a token of my gratitude. Why the challenge? Couldn't have gone after something less formidable? A werebub, for instance? Uh, why? For... For the beast must match in ferocity the very ardor of my affection and... You're blushing, Sir Knight. Oh, it's my betrothed. The thing is, she champs at the pit to get married when we've not known one another but two years. So I vowed to slay Gratori. Thought it would buy me time to battle such a beast why it could take months. Mm -hmm. Especially at the rate you were going. High time you returned to Beauclair, brave knight. Nay, oh, nay. The head of this beast is a trifle, wholly inadequate to express the love I harbor for my betrothed. The world awaits. Uh, to honor her, I shall cut down another, more terrible beast. Mm, must have really cold feet. Frozen. Can't say I see it happening, your success. But do what you will, and good luck. My thanks, Master. The fight at your side was an honor. Do you like it here? Ah, oh, poor. Snow White. Name's Geralt. 
What can I do for you? That hair, the scar, ah, the frown, it's all perfect. Something you actually want from me? Or are you just gonna go on gushing about my attributes? I admire, good sir. Admire and desire. Such a threat in the eyes. Oh, so manly. If you're trying to get me to meet with you some evening, afraid you're just wasting your time. An evening? Impossible. I shall require the soft light of mid-afternoon for this portrait. Portrait? Indeed. Yours. En face. Actual size, with the finest Vista Toussaint Fords behind you. Pose for me. You must. Naturally, I shall pay the compensation due to you for your modeling services. No chance. Find yourself another model. A shame. More. An irreparable loss. Should you change your mind, I shall be here. Hey, find anyone to sit for you? Plenty of imposing knights errant around. Got manly looking scars on them too. But none has hair as exquisite as yours. Reconsider, will you not? Your portrait? Why, a true work of art it would be. Don't see why not, as long as it doesn't take long. It shan't, never worry. With but a short distance to journey into the hills outside of town. A perfect landscape perfectly to frame your perfect physiognomy. Let's go then. I need to only fetch my easel and pallets from my studio. We shall meet at noon at the western gate near the palace. From where we'll venture forth together. Nice tune. The light is inopportune at the moment. Could you return around noon? I'm here. Let us go! We should arrive in time to have the best light of the day. The chiaroscuro we shall capture. Just glorious. Let's go. The things I do for art. We had best ride there. We'll arrive faster and less fatigued. A work of mine. Turtle dove over the heat. Hangs in the ducal palace. So does a cockatrice I cut down once. It's stuffed. Maybe even with Heather. I once had a cockatrice feather brush. Best thing for laying down tempera. Yeah, I no longer have it, sadly. My blasted cat swiped it. Why would a cat want a brush? To paint with, of course. And it was no common brush. Fantastic, as I said. And fantastically expensive. Hang on. Got a cat that paints? Yeah, if you care to call it that. He merely copies the works of his betters, and poorly at that. Your cat? Yes. Pierre Auguste Moustachois. It's no surprise you've not heard of him. He's a second-rate hack and a thief. We'll continue on foot. Ladies, gentlemen, my lieges, uh, forgive me for being forward, 
But have you perchance seen a set of paints and brushes nearby? Eugenie, I believe this peasant wants something from us. My paints, my brushes, I, I, I had prepared them. They, they were here. We've not seen any journeyman's tools, my good man. Of that I assure you. There a problem? Yes, an immense one. I cannot possibly paint without my paints. I'm done for, unless you would be kind enough to locate them. Wouldn't happen to have another set with you? And uh, nothing you could use instead? My word, would you really have me scrawl with charcoal like an animal? Ah, uh, damn it. Sure you left them here? Yes, right there. I'd prepared everything, set it out, ordered and organized. Hmm, might have toppled downhill or something. Fine, I'll take a look around. I think it is life that imitates art, and not vice versa. Right you are, Fingal. Take Baron de Cordell for one. Oh yes, that nose. He actually had a major larger after he saw that the Reb Courage play. And now he's begun courting his cousin. Spilled paint. Reeks to high heavens of turpentine. Footprints, clear, but curiously small. Another stain, could very well be a lead. Got paint drops here, too. Another stain. Could very well be a lead. Neckers? Look like they made off with the paints. Question is, why?
found your things. Splendid. Where were they? And... Hmm, is this all you found? I left so much more. Should have kept it all with you, not left it lying around. Followed some paint tracks to a necker lair. Seems the beasts made off with your supplies. Used it to paint a fresco on one of the cave walls. Looked something like a battle scene to me. Ugh, impossible. They splashed paint on the wall in a rage. Unimportant. In any case, it's a good thing you found the basic colors. Shall we? While waiting, I spied a superior spot. We have had fantastic luck with the weather. The light is perfect, absolutely perfect. Painting this masterpiece gonna take long? A mere six hours. The sun won't allow us to work any longer than that. Oh, but the time will fly by. We'll chat, swap tales. Mm, better yet, let me down at the ocean. Time will definitely fly by in a state of lethargy. No need to swap tales. No, no, no. Your expression, your posture, they must be just so. You must look alive with fire in your gaze. Lethargy is out of the question. <laughs> Come on, give it some thought. You could title the painting, A Witcher Lying Senselessly on the Heath. You jest. <laughs> A jesting witcher. This the place? Yes! Just look at the view. Breathtaking! The perfect background for our masterpiece. Mmm. Pretty, I guess. Now, you must carefully consider in what pose you wish to be immortalized. All right. Considering. All is ready. We may begin. Have you decided on the pose you'd like to adopt? How about I be on horseback? I mean, Roach kind of deserves to be immortalized too. Oh yes, a horse! Exceptional idea! But I would rather you perch atop Alexander, my mount. I've trained him to pose. I shall paint in the carcass of a slain griffin later. Now, raise your head to exude pride. Thrust your breast forward. Go on, breast forward. I want to see those hocks extended. Ahem. Is the horse paying attention? May I begin? Or would you rather try a different pose? Go ahead. Now, if you wouldn't mind, that look you gave me when I first asked you to pose, would you be so kind as to adopt it again? That intense scowl of an angry wild ram about to butt heads. Yes! Excellent. Now, hold that. Do not budge. <sighs> this gonna take much longer? Not much, not much at all. We'll run out of daylight soon. Please, keep your head still, in the same position. Fine, I'll try. I'll also try to remember to never trust a painter again. Griffin! Yeah, I know. You'll paint one in later. Gods! A Griffin! Run! And hide! Dearest mummy! 
Is it safe? Yeah, come on out. And no wonder no one ever came here. It was a griffin's hunting ground. Oh, that thing scared me to death! Not quite to death. You are alive. Not least because you chose a witcher to sit for you. How's the painting? It survived too? Oh, it did. But I cannot show it to you now. I never display unfinished work. You can see it tomorrow, after midday, where we met. I shall display it in the market square. Oof, monstrous beast. Shall we immortalize it in the painting? No, it's too mangled, too gruesome this way. Hmm, indeed. The hue of its blood would not go well with your complexion. Ah, very well. That will do for now. I shall polish the details later. No point struggling on in this fading light. Ah, I almost forgot. Payment for your troubles. And I thank you for saving my life. Though, in doing so, you did also save your likeness. Ah, for posterity.
Is it to your liking? Do tell. <laughs> Not exactly what I imagined. I believe I posed with all my clothes on. Clearly remember that in fact. Some other details are off too. Invalid as a criticism. I depicted you in a more flattering state. The painting has drawn crowds, aroused a great deal of interest. I can see that. Anyway, some advice for the future. Warn your subjects about your intentions. Your next model might not be so forgiving. You don't like it. I'm hurt. Perhaps you'd care to buy the painting. Given our rapport, I shall take a loss. For you, I'll part with it, I will, at a special price. Doubt I'd have any use for it. I'm sure you'll find an eager art lover to buy it. Was that true? Necessary. I came out of Oxford Academy with high honors, yet any broad shouldered lump. Geralt of Rivia, slayer of the... me be. Without my Vivian, life has no meaning. You are the last to whom I wish to speak. Such thing as an unsightly way. You best behave. Oh, great. You're in both ears. <clears throat> He's no hero. That's the butcher. 